Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. And uh, today we are talking a little bit more about the Nabalis Canyon. This thing, honestly, still really, really impresses me. It is one of these Bella songs I wasn't expecting to be as good as it is. And I mean, this and some of the other recent Bella songs really just show how much progress we've made as a Bella song community in terms of what's being made. Um, in such a short amount of time, you know, like in only a few years, we've gone from CCCs being your first option to having something like this be available, right? Like a full stainless steel bell song for like only really 10 pounds more than the really crap stuff, like the, the really crap stuff on Amazon. Um, it's fairly fast shipping, to be honest, and the valor shipping does quite impress me. It's about a week and a half. Um, which all the way from China, that's that's pretty impressive. That's that's nothing to scoff at, you know? Um, I'm really impressed with the quality, the, the feel in the hand um, of this guy, to be honest. There's not much I would really changed this. I understand it's got that slight weird feeling. Um, this is also going to be a slight response to the video that Brandon made on the Will Hirsch Flips channel um, about, you know, this versus a more normal bala song, right? Um, do I have a more normal bala song on me? Uh, I think that guy, no, I don't. Um, at least not one that I can show you. I do have one more bala song on me, but it's uh, half deconstructed in my pocket. So, this is something that it really isn't as weird of a feeling as I think someone like Brandon made out to feel. Um, I don't consider myself a very good flipper. Um, you know, I know a few intermediate and a few advanced moves, but I really don't think that I'm the best at flipping, partially just because I don't have too much time to practice flipping, right? You know, I can do like some pretty nice show of tricks like the Zero G Chaplin for a few rotations. You know, I can do a nice flasher. It's not too difficult there, which would be the choker fan. You know, the palm fans. I'm still trying to get the one where you go like backwards down. Sometimes I can pull off a reverse fan, uh, like a reverse palm fan. But honestly, I don't do anything that's too uh, challenging. You know, I know a few aerials and whatnot, you know, like reverse eight wall. Uh, well, I failed it there, but you know, reverse eight wall. I can throw it on the floor. And this thing does basically all of it. And okay, yeah, maybe as a beginner, if I were learning it, well, it carries momentum for you really easily. So you're gonna learn how to flip a knife like this quite easily. Cause like, even if I do a very elbowy movement, as long as you let go at the right time, it's gonna wrap around your finger. And um, I think that comparing something like this to the Volp, which obviously I don't have any experience with the Volp, um, but obviously the Volp doesn't chaplain. I mean, this in the live blade format does chaplain or the false edge format, I should say. Um, no, not sharp. Uh, this does chaplain, and this will definitely grow with you much more than the Volp will. And I think one of the beauties of that is that you can have something that is going to last you much longer. And he was saying it feels like a wild departure from something like the Serif or other Bala songs, right? Or something like the like the BB Barfly. And um, I've tried out the Superfly, and honestly, it's not a crazy departure from something like that, right? From a more premium Bala song. It's one of those things where it's like, this thing will just feel different, right? Like, even moving to something like this, right? I know this is obviously like a clone, right? But this just feels like a lighter version with a slightly better balance. Um, you know, the weight distribution is much nicer. You know, it's just, it's just different. But it's familiar enough that all the tricks you learn on this, okay, they'll carry a little less momentum. You know, this chunk of weight here is quite draggy, you know, so you don't have some of that sluggish momentum. Uh, the momentum is slightly sluggish on here in terms of when you're trying to do like a ricochet. That's obviously with any heavier ballast on because obviously it's very end weighted. Um, and I also think that, yeah, there's a little bit too much pivot weight here uh, or at least lower spine weight. But... realistically for a beginner they're not gonna go from this to something a little bit better right like a volp pro or you know a kraken trainer and be like oh my goodness this thing was terrible um 
If anything, they'll probably have a newfound appreciation for nicer ballad songs, but also an appreciation for this once they get a little bit more invested into the hobby, um, where they can really reference this against some of their other ballad songs. For me, this reminds me much more of the ballad songs, well, I want to say the ballad songs of yesteryear, just to sound poetic and, you know, nice and flowy with my words. But it reminds me of slightly older style ballad songs, where they're a little bit heavier, they're a little bit more intentional in their weight. You know, you've got to really want to do a move for it to just do it, right? It's not like the crack and where, like the slightest flick and it does, you know, the most advanced combo you've ever seen for you, right? It's not a brainless flipper, but it's definitely not one that's super involved in terms of the momentum. That B is really loud. Um, the momentum this carries is something that it does help you learn those tricks, right? Like a lot of beginner tricks, you know, doing stuff like this. Oh, I guess that's a bit advanced, but, um, you know, stuff like this, like the 12, stuff like the rollovers and stuff like that. Like, this really does help you out quite a lot in those tricks. And it's just something that... I think this is really fantastic, especially at the price point. It's better than anything else that you could realistically get. I know the Volp is a little bit more expensive, um, and the Volp comes in more colors, obviously. So when it comes to original first ballad songs, I do think this is a better choice for longevity. This will be more durable. I think it, it sounds a bit better. I don't, don't get me wrong. I don't think this sounds amazing, but uh, I really hate the kind of... When I want a clacky ballad song, like I don't want it to be just a... Like, I'm very particular with how my ballad songs sound. And personally, I don't like the audio clips of the Volp. Um, I just think that the way it's milled, it just has a slightly, I don't want to say cheap, but like a slightly less well-machined sound. Um, like the tolerances are not like, like the machine wise 6061 products sound amazing because of how tight the tolerances are, how hard the blade is and how hard the Zen pins are, as well as the, uh, shape and the side like the uh, the 6061 handles right that thing sounds really good for a 6061 aluminium ballad song i can't get behind the sound of really many if any other 6061 aluminium ballad songs um i think 7075 sounds a little bit better but it's really down to the hardnesses and the tolerances that makes the sound of the ballad song good and i just don't think that the volp stands up to what i like um at least in terms of from a clacky ballad song i think it's got a bit too many high overtones um and some of the harmonics that it has just a little unpleasant whereas this i think the extra weight as well as it being steel does help give it a it's a subdued sound it's nothing special don't get me wrong but the tactile experience is definitely nicer and that higher pitched ring is something that I can definitely vibe with a little more. Um, oh. I can vibe with a little bit more with these two, you know, slight channels. My big problem with this is that the ring. Oh, oh where can I hold it? The ring is really, really long, right? Like the ring just lasts forever. Um, that's my biggest problem with it. But honestly, it's not that loud of a ring. And, uh... Ah, oh, come on! I keep nearly landing that Helix Aerial. And it's not something that um, I think is such a big deal that it's, it's going to be rubbish. Obviously, I think in terms of durability, this wins and loses. It's a pinsless system, so, you know, it might close up over time. But, I mean, it's steel. Steel work hardens fairly quickly. Um... I've not seen this get smaller in the time that I've had it, but obviously it probably started off like there, new, right? So it's gotten a little smaller, but so far it's been good. I think that the tolerances on this are also still pretty good. Um, you know, very little wiggle. This is just something you can beat up a lot more, which personally, as a, as a beginner, I would value a little bit more than being made of aluminium, you know? So I personally don't think that this is such a deviation from more traditional ballad songs 
that you're going to find it a little bit disjointing as a beginner. Yes, perhaps the vault is a little bit more in line with a more standard balancing experience. However, I understand that for a beginner, it's beneficial to have something that you're familiar with when upgrading. But I think that kind of defeats the purpose of one of the most beautiful things in this hobby, um, which would be how different battle songs can be from each other. You know, I wouldn't want every battle song to flip like a Kraken because I would hate every battle song. Um, despite, I actually enjoy kind of how the Kraken flips, but only in the context of other battle songs. So I would hate if every battle song flipped like that because it would just be boring. Everything would flip the same and it would just be an aesthetic hobby. Whereas here you have a different tactile experience and it's not so different that it's like, oh, this is weird. Like, oh, I can't do any of my, you know, tricks here. You know, like, you know, doing a rollover. Oh, that feels weird. Or, you know, you do like the, oh, sorry, that's the one you should be doing, right? Mm. It doesn't feel that weird in comparison to other battle songs, really. It's just something that is slightly different. And it's a nice different. So, not to rant on Brandon, um... Obviously, I understand he was doing his best to be free from uh, bias due to him having, you know, financial incentive to promote the Vulp a little bit more. And do I think that that has been a part of, uh, you know, his little review of the canyon? Possibly. I think maybe subconsciously there's always that slight uh, bias towards the Vulp just because, I mean, it's something he designed, right? And he even said himself, color is really important to him. So I think if you want something that's a specific color, yeah, go for the Vulp, right? But I think if you want something that's actually going to be, in my opinion, a better flipper for longer, I really do think the the Canyon here is the winner. Um, it's a really, really solid battle song. If you can get your hands on one of these when they're in stock, this thing, it's just something fantastic. I think as a first battle song, you save some money, right? Um, of course, you're not getting the prestige of a YouTuber's product, but you save some money. In my opinion, you can get a nice design. I think this design is... I do like the Volp design, but I'm personally not the biggest fan of that, like, buoy. I'm just not a buoy guy. Um, and so I really like this... I don't even know what to call this. Like, exaggerated, tanto, almost scimitar-esque, you know, with that wider... I don't know this kind of this style blade there you go the canyon style blade you know with the mountain lines and obviously it's not as interesting visually necessarily i think the handles are slightly more um it's definitely going to be grippier um the jumping here is pretty good as well um you just got a different battle song and i mean i think that i'd rather have this than a volp simply from the standpoint of this looks a little better in my opinion it sounds better and it actually does chaplain, you know, like beyond learning like this, right? Obviously you can still learn a chaplain like this. I think you can on any battle song, but um, especially I think for a beginner, the trainer version of this is probably perfect. You know, it is kind of the combination of everything you'd really want in a battle song. It's durable. It's got some heft to it. So you don't end up being like those babies that can only flip like Nautiluses or something. Um, you know, people complaining, oh my goodness, the battle song's too heavy. The Alpha Beast weighs like five tons. And it's like, no, the Alpha Beast is heavy by today's standards, but it's, it's only five ounces or so. Like, it's not a chunky battle song by any means. And actually, with the right mods, you can make it flip like it's lighter than this guy. Um, so I really do appreciate what Nabalis is doing with the canyon. I do think they're going to start running into the kind of similar problem that Squid has in terms of having too many battle songs in the right price range. But uh, yeah, I've really been enjoying the Canyon. I've been picking it up quite often in the time that I've had it. And other than that, yeah, I don't have too much else to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, you know, leave a like, leave a comment. Leave a comment. Tell me what, what, what you think versus the Canyon versus the Vault. If you have both, which do you prefer and why? Especially if you're more of a beginner flipper or looking from a more beginner's standpoint. Which do you think would be the better option for beginners? Um, I didn't really want to make too much of a controversial video, but I just personally disagree with Brandon and I think that that's fine. Um, 
you know, I'm not trying to say, oh my goodness, Brandon is like a liar or something. I just think, hmm, I, holding this in my hand, comparing it to something like a serif and, you know, Bibi Barfly products, I don't think it's that much of a deviation from them in general. Especially not like the Superfly or something. Um, the weight distribution, yeah, it's slightly different, but it's still about something at the end of the day. It's a normal size. It's actually quite small, actually, in the hands, but it's a nice small. It's not, like, blocky and chunky, you know? It's not, like, fat like the Kraken. The Kraken, like, it feels like you're holding tentacles. Um, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty chunky balisong. Um, it's a comfortable chunky, but it's big. You know, it, it fills up the hand quite a lot. Um, it's not like a JK product big. JK products are really thick. But it's it's a nice balisong. Um, I mean, this thing, I just think it's it's just awesome. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.